Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and thank you guys so much for joining us today in my brand new studio set up here on Mixed Media Monday. I'm really excited to be back and I wanted to thank you guys for just all of the kindness that you've showed this past year and I'm looking forward to a new year filled with creative inspiration and I'm just so glad to have you guys along. So with that being said, today I thought I would start out the new year and the challenges because we're pretty well into January. So um, I just thought I'd like to start up my year with just some inspiration and I hope to of course keep my inspiration going and by that I mean I usually will on my phone look up quotes and a quote will kind of spark an idea or um, sometimes it's it's a supply that will spark an idea um, today it was a little bit of both I've got a quote that I want to use I found um, the stencil that I would like to use as far as my other supplies go, I've got just my normal um, Lucas acrylic paints in titanium white, a little bit of fluorescent magenta, um, Indian yellow, carmine, and then some Payne's gray because I want, I'm thinking um, I want to like do some things and then black out some of the space. I've also got my Lucas watercolor here as well as some inks and some um, what do we call these ink markers um, that I may want to use so without further ado let's go ahead and get started I'm going to spritz down my watercolor for maybe I'll spritz my page a little as well because um, I've, I like the way that my paints move on my surface this page I'm working on was just an old background that I've covered with a little bit of gesso. One thing that I will say is um, whenever I'm working in a journal, I usually like to A, prep my page by gluing down papers and then covering the whole thing in a layer of gesso. Or um, depending on what I'm doing, I will put down a layer of gesso because I love how paints and inks and watercolors all kind of dance over that surface that's been primed. So it's just got a thin layer of gesso over the back of an old page. So I'm going to start with um, keeping in mind the colors I've selected. I'm just going to just start laying down some color. And um, <laughs> I shall not mess this up. I shall not mess. Am I looking good so far, Miss? No words. Interesting. Okay. What I'm thinking now that I'm putting this color down is because I've got this stencil that I know I want to use later on. I think I want to keep the majority of my color down here because I think I may black out everything else to put my quote. That's my thoughts thus far. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll just, I'm just going to keep going by adding some color. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so for our first drying session, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is dried enough. I think I'm going to just go in with some color. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty light at first. Um, just to start building my background.
think I'm going to let this dry, whatever this is, and I'll be right back. Well, I wonder what would happen if I did some of this. Yay. And then I think I'm just going to take my alphabet stencil here. Um, and I just want to see what will happen because a lot of times I personally feel other people don't usually agree with me. Um, but I personally feel as though whenever I just kind of go, oh, I wonder what will happen and I'm not really afraid to try things, usually some great things will happen, most often not, but we're gonna see what happens here because I didn't, I accidentally didn't bring my sprayers. So let's just, <sighs> yep, nothing, not a whole lot, okay. So I'm going to put this back over here. I'm going to get some, let's try this ink. I didn't pack a lot of toys today. I just noticed that. But I think, ooh, I probably should have done that first. Let's just try. Let's just try. Now I'm just talking to myself. Because no, yep, let's, okay. Nobody's listening. Oh, them. Sorry, I'm back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this ink. And all I'm usually using these inks for are to just kind of splatter a little bit of color into this epicness that I've got going on. Um, yeah, that's gonna be plain. Okay. And then I'm gonna let this dry up because I don't want everything to start mixing together. And I'll be right back. Before I go on, I wanna take this a little bit over here because that side just by itself is looking a little lonely. And I should have also said, um, I'm not using a heavy body paint on this. Um, so I, you just want to be careful whenever you're using a sponge and such like that, that your paint is not so wet that it seeps under your stencil because, you know, then it just kind of gets a little awkward. All right, let's, yep, see, we're just making messes. So um, I'm going to put that off and then I'm going to get a little bit of yellow just want to see if I can add some yellow to this madness and now it just looks like we're having a birthday party and there's nothing else really that's going on but and see I promised that I would come back with like some newness and some greatness and I'm the same hot mess that we left back there so um and I've already gotten my paper on my new set dirty I think I better take a drying break. I'll be right back. So, I've got my stencil here. I think it's, we're just, you know what? We're gonna roll because the longer I think this, the more of a mess I'm gonna make. And I don't like making messes. So, I'm gonna take some Peen's Gray and um, I'm just going to come around the edge of this because you'll be able to notice in just a second that I'm going to black everything else out, hopefully, or Peen's Gray everything out. Um, if this works, great. If not, I have a plan B somewhere deep down inside. <music>
this dry up for oh I'm gonna let this dry up for a minute and I'll be right back yeehaw got some markers that I'm why is there water um I've got some markers that I may want to use a little marker water action but then I'm also thinking that I may use some um, acrylic inks and like a dip pen. The, what do you call it? The challenge for this was finding a ink that was gonna be opaque or a marker that was gonna be opaque. I also have some like jelly roll pens that I may try to use to do my quote here, but um, let's just see what happens with the ink yes. bless you <laughs> just a day at work here just a day at work this is my job right this. and they laugh at me and nobody can figure out why i'm always angry i'm back okay so let's see if this is going to be opaque enough um Oh, you know what I want to do first? I'm going to try this first because let's just see what happens. I have no clue where this is going to go, but um, yeah, let's just try it. See, I feel as though it's going to be opaque because I wanted, I want my letters to be of varying degrees. That's not right. Of varying fonts, fonts. That sounds fun. Fonts. got my quote in I think I'm just gonna go around with my acrylic markers um, just because my pen decided that it wasn't gonna do some things that I wanted it to do now I'm just gonna kind of add in a little some little details and just just hold on for this ride because we don't even know where we're going yet so just let's just see what happens because I almost forgot to use my jumbo jet and that is not how we want to start off this new year of possibilities so um yep now we are just carrying this mess right on I mean I didn't want to disappoint people 
by looking all snazzy and junk. I don't, I don't even know what this is doing. I, oh, I wonder if, yep, that did nothing. So, I feel like I want to make him poop or do something special. So with that, I think I'm going to call this done. Um, I found this quote and I've kind of altered it some, but I just like that um, it's, I honestly used it as a reminder just to, you know, be faithful in the small things because those are the things that, you know, keep us going and make us show up. Um, it's not always a big giant production, but just little things that you do every single day that will propel you forward. Or at least that's the way I saw it um, for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that if you play along that you use the hashtag at, it's not a hashtag, at Jerry's Artorama on Instagram as well as at Ophelia's Art Studio, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my god, that's far. Bye. Oh, I didn't mean to say bye twice. Okay, thank you. That was that good? I'm scared. It's Sour Patch Kids. Mm -mm. It's cereal. Come to my van. I have candy. Yes, I have mm -mm. candy. <laughs> Everyone else is trying. Nope. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. there's probably... <laughs> there's probably... Is it going to make me pee or make my... Um, no. My, it's going to make my gums turn black. No. No. It's just not that good. And so here I go with peer pressure. Hey, Ming. Are you familiar with Sour Patch Kids? Never heard of them. Just kidding. Those are delicious, but do we need a 75-pound box? Yes. Okay. You're the only one that said they're delicious. <laughs>